Hello, this is Simply Southern. I'm Lexi. How can I help you? Hey, Lexi. Uh, this is Santa here in the mall. Uh, hello? Hello. Is this Lexi? Yep. Oh, hey, Lexi. This is Santa. I'm here in the mall, in the mall Santa. Uh-huh. And I saw what you did. And uh, what? You, I saw what you did, and you shouldn't be doing that. What did I do? Uh, you know what you did. I'm just saying, like, you know, I, I see all. I know all. I'm Santa. Just don't be doing that. Oh, okay. You know, I'm sorry. Not cool, especially this close to Christmas. This is it Santa. Yeah, I'm Santa. You're from here in the mall. Hello? Hello. Who's this? Who is this? Oh, this is Santa here in the mall. Uh, I was just letting Lexi, Lexi know that I, I know what she did there and that it wasn't cool and she shouldn't be doing that so close to Christmas. Do you know Lexi? Well, I, I know all the, the boys and girls in the world. I'm Santa. Mm -hmm. And uh, basically, I, 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 I see you when you're sleeping. I know when you're awake. You know, you know the song. And I saw what she did and it was not cool. Okay. So, uh, shame, shame on Lexi. Can you tell her that real quick? Mm hmm Right now, real quick, just tell her. Shame on you, Lexi. I'm point well, she's busy. She's in duty now. Yeah, she's but just, her. like, waggle well, your finger at her. That. She's in duty now, and you don't want to get her in trouble. No, right? no, no, she is in trouble for what she did. She's in trouble well, with Santa. Well, tell me what she did. Oh, uh, no, no, that's between me and Lexi. I know what she did. Okay. There's, there's no reason keep, for me to be keep, out in her. Keep, keep Santa. Keep yourself out of the business. Oh, no, I'm in everyone's business. I'm in your business. I know everything you do. I'm Santa. I don't, I don't want you to be in my business, please. Well, I'm Santa. I can't help it. I'm in, I know everything. I'm all-knowing, all-seeing. Well, I don't have to hang up on you, please. No, don't no, bother you, us no more. You don't hang up on Santa Claus. Mm-hmm. That'll count again. I'll, you'll lose points. Well, thank you. You're, thank you're, you for that. So... Yeah, no problem. Anyway, can you uh, just real quick tell Lexi, shame on you, Lexi. Well, thank you so much, guys. Well, can you, put, can you put Lexi back on? No, no, she's on duty. So we'll please, take over her, her duty. Her don't get her in trouble, please. No, she's, she's not in trouble. She's just in trouble with me. I'm just going to put well, her... I don't care about you, mister, all right? I'm just going to put I'm her on so the... I'm so cool so far, so please. I'm just going to put her on the naughty list, that's all. Professional. I know a lot about buttholes. Thank you, Synthhead, for that intro song. I love intro songs about buttholes. Hey, everybody, you're listening to the Snowplow Show. This is episode 737. It's brought to you by Jamie F., Marcus B., Mano One, the Prime Minister of Australia, and Rev. Thanks, everyone, for supporting the show on whatever thing that you support the show on. Today's show is actually yesterday's show. Today is December 20th, 2021, but I recorded these calls yesterday on Sunday. 
and I intended to put them up last night, but it just didn't happen. In fact, I think in this show, like during the pranks, I mentioned that I might do more of these same calls tomorrow, which is today, but here it is today. I haven't even put out this show yet. So whenever I say that, be sure to call me out on my bullshit. You need to loudly yell at your listening device. And you know what? Let's just get into it. I don't have any announcements, really. But before I get started, I do need to play this uh, thing that I Regret Jumping made a year or two ago. It's a yearly Christmas tradition. Twas the night before Christmas, and to his chagrin, Santa looked out the window and found he was snowed in. To Google he went for help with the snow, but Santa was unaware he reached the snowplow show. My driveway needs plowing. My sidewalk snow blown. We'll be there soon, Santa. Now hang up the phone. Santa looked up and was then filled with fear. The culprit shuttle torched all of his reindeer. You killed all our reindeer, the old woman said. Just shut the fuck up and bake cookies instead. I regret jumping fell when he tripped on the cat. In his drunken stupor, he squished Santa flat. King Richard tried hard to be thoughtful and nice. He misunderstood and called agents of ice. I'm ready for takeoff. Queen Olga then said, There are no other options since Santa is dead. They stalked the sleigh full of used burner phones, Kenny Login CDs, and rusty trombones. Out of the sky, like a downed satellite, fell an Amazon drone that ended their flight. And that was the tale of the last Christmas we had, thanks to the phone losers and their co-worker, Chad. I got a request here from the sign guy. He sent me a bunch of business cards that were, I guess, left at a mall someplace. Oh, at a bridal shop in the mall. But I'm thinking, you know what? Fuck all these business cards. It's like, you know, photographers and DJs and stuff like that for your wedding. I'll do these someday, but he also sent me the link to the mall itself. And you know what I haven't done this month, even though we're six days away from Christmas, is I haven't called up every store in a mall as Santa and said really weird things to him. And I don't think I'm going to call up every store in this mall. This is a big mall. But the sign guy was nice enough to tell me where Santa is. He's on the lower level by Dillard South. And he's there till 7 p.m. Christmas Eve. What the hell? 7 p.m. on Christmas Eve? That sucks. I hope Santa doesn't have a family he wants to get home to. Uh, the only problem is that the uh, the map on this mall thing, it's uh, not clickable. I can't just click on these stores and be taken to their phone number. I have to look it up separately on this other list. But that's not the sign guy's fault. It's okay, sign guy. I still love you. So really, I don't even know how to start. Like, the, the map is tiny, and it doesn't even tell you the name of a place. It just has the numbers of all the stores. That's kind of useless. Oh, and the sign guy has a request. He wants me to demand free food and drinks from places in the food court. So I think we'll just start with that. Good afternoon, Ms. Fields. Hey, uh, this is Santa Claus down here by the Dillard Dillards. Yeah. Okay. And I noticed you guys haven't brought me any cookies. Oh, God. And I just want to say that is really shitty. You know, I'm Santa Claus and it's the week of Christmas. I answered this phone call as an unknown name, unknown number, and I normally don't do that. So if you're joking with me right now, what are you I'm not finding any humor in it. What are so. you talking about? My phone number comes up. I'm calling from my cell. It's an 816 number. I don't care what your number says to you. It comes up as unknown name. I to think me. you just don't know so how to use you your need, damn, sir. How can I help you? Learn how to use sir, your damn caller ID box, ma'am. Is there something you need from us? Uh, yeah. I will be more than happy to help hey, you. Hey, could you just look at your caller ID real quick and confirm for me that you don't know how to use I caller ID? I want to know what Santa my... Claus downstairs by Diller has to do with anything right now. Uh, what can I help you with? You're a cookie place, and Santa likes cookies. Duh. So, good job. Not I'm not finding the humor in it at all. Yeah, me either. Well, bring... well, why don't you walk up here and grab some cookies if that's what you want? Because I'm fat. 
I'm Santa. And Santa doesn't walk around just getting cookies. People bring him cookies. Okay, I'm not going to argue with you, you stupid anymore, bitch. sir. Because this conversation is going nowhere. Thank you. Because you're not doing anything about it. All right, there's call number one. Another thing that sucks about this list is that everything is listed alphabetically. So I can't just look at everything in the food court area. I just have to go through alphabetically and find stuff that mentions the food court. Oh, look at this. There's a listing for Santa's workshop. And his phone number is from New Jersey. Like, this mall is located in the middle of the United States. And Santa Claus has a New Jersey phone number. And she's complaining about my phone number. And by the way, my phone number, it, without a doubt, it comes up. I called myself right before her. My caller ID comes up. Maybe there's no name on it. But there's definitely a number if she just look at her caller ID. Which I'm sure that's what Welcome she's... Welcome to Cherry Hill Programs. Please listen to all of the following, as our menu options have changed. Okay. That, that's Santa's number. I guess it's just some Santa headquarters over there in Jersey. Here, I'm going to call Mrs. Fields back, but I'm going to call back from the mall's number. And hopefully she'll know how to use her caller ID this time. Hello, Mrs. Fields. Hi there. This is Carol from the mall office. Hi. Hi. Uh, we got a report from the Santa down by the Dillard's. That you guys aren't bringing him cookies. Uh, is he asking for free cookies? Yeah, because he's Santa. Like, basically, you're supposed to be bringing him cookies. And uh, he said he talked to a female employee there that cursed uh, at him. The, I'm the owner of a store. Oh, okay. Yeah, he, he talked to some girl, and, and she said she wasn't going to bring any cookies. Uh, we are not aware we're supposed to provide free cookies. Well, you, have you ever heard of Santa Claus? It's kind of his thing. He likes cookies. Um, well, um... All the other stores are doing it, like the, the pizza place. They're bringing them slices of pizza every once in a while. Okay, well, mm -hmm. it's nice to know. Uh, we'll mm -hmm. think about it. Okay, thank oh, you for letting oh, no, you, There's no. nothing to think about, motherfucker. You bring down those cookies right now. Oh, uh, so... Uh, is this from the office? Yeah, from the, from yeah, the, the mall office. office. And who am I speaking to? Uh, my name is Carol. Carol? Yeah, yeah, you, listen, listen here, buddy. You need to show Santa Claus some respect because it's almost Christmas. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Uh, uh, okay, uh, this is something we'll, I'll discuss with the, the mall manager. Okay, thank you. Oh, Bye -bye. there's nothing to discuss. There he goes. I really wanted to talk to that girl again. And this mall directory is the worst. Like, it shows food court items. Oh, wait, here's a Panda Express. That'll work, right? Santa needs some Panda Express. But it shows non-food things being in the food court. Like lids, you know, the hat shop. They're in the food court. I had to call them up and tell them to stop stealing our valor. Like, sell some food or get the fuck out, you fucking phony. Here's some kind of Japanese food. But I think after this, I'm just going to start at the top of the list and call as much as I can in the mall and try not to complain about the list too much. What the hell? We're sorry, you have reached Everything in this mall has gone out of business, except for Santa Claus's New Jersey number. And you know what really sucks? I can't look at the map and then call up stores that would be in, you know, within his view. Hopefully, I think I always mess that up anyway. But, you know, tell them to stop giving me that look like they got some fucking problem with Santa Claus. Matter of fact, how can I help you? Hey, is this a cell phone shop? Yes. Okay, it's Santa Claus down at the Dillard's. Okay. Uh, my phone broke. I'm going to come up there and just get a new phone for free from, from you. Like maybe a, a loaner or something, but you just let me keep it. What? What, what phone do you have? That's uh, an iPhone. It's like the latest iPhone. Do you have iPhones there? Mm -hmm. You want to buy a phone or you want to fix your phone? No, I, w I just want you to like give me a new one for free because I'm Santa Claus. Like I'm the one doing the pictures with the kids. Yeah, we don't have we don't have iPhone 13. Oh, iPhone 12 is good. Whatever. Uh, yeah, we don't have we don't have new phones. The the best one we have is iPhone X Max. Listen here, buddy. I'm Santa Claus. So if you have to give me your own iPhone. That's fine. You can just give it to me. Yeah. Hey, uh, I I just work here, man. Santa, yeah, but I work, Santa. Yeah. I, I cannot give. I cannot give you stuff. Oh no, you have to. I'm Santa Claus. I deserve respect. It's like one week till Christmas. Yeah. 
Yeah, you have to talk to the owner. Oh, I don't have to talk to shit, motherfucker. I want my damn iPhone. So what, what kind of iPhone do you have? Hey, why are you cursing, motherfucker? Hey, don't don't you motherfucker me. I'm Santa Claus, motherfucker. I don't, I don't, I don't fuck who you are, man. Fuck you. Fuck yourself. Fuck your family. <laughs> oh, wow. I'm not bringing that guy anything for Christmas. Pretty easy. I'm putting you on the naughty list. You're not getting shit for Christmas. I think that's what I'm, I'm just going to call up people and curse at them a lot. That's going to be my new thing. I'm just going to curse at people. That was the very first person on the list. Some kind of cell phone repair shop. Now we're going to try Abercrombie and Fitch. Abercrombie and Fitch, can I help you? Hey, uh, this is Santa Claus down by the Dillard's. You know, I'm doing the photos and stuff. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to come up in your store here in just a little bit. Okay. And I'm going to cause a scene. It's going to be like a comedy routine thing. Okay. I'm gonna get in a fight with the elves. We're gonna we're gonna throw down. We're gonna we're gonna be like you know just throwing racks around and hitting each other. Uh, and but, as long as you're not messing up my tables, I'm fine with it. Oh no, we're gonna flip the tables. And, but don't worry. It's, oh, it's, perfect. It's, no, it's just an act. Like we're just it's we're just having fun. It's just the thing we're doing. <laughs> I can't let you do that. Oh no, no, we're gonna do it. Like we're we're not gonna come up and ask or anything. We're just gonna come up and I'm gonna get in a fight with one of my elves. And we're just gonna go at it. We we did this over at Radio Shack the other day. Um, if, if as long as my store merchandise and customers aren't interacted with, I don't care. Oh, we'll be throwing you know just light things at the customers, like shirts and stuff. Uh, we can't do that. Do they have security tags on them or anything? I don't want to knock anyone's teeth out with those. Yeah, they do. We we're not gonna be able to let you guys. Okay, do that. I'm gonna just throw them at people's stomachs instead of their. Yeah, we can't let you do that. No, we're just gonna come in and and you know just have a little fight. It's it's no big deal. It it won't even last no, two, two minutes. I'm sorry, I can't let you throw clothes at people. But in the end, everyone's gonna learn a lesson. We're gonna settle our differences in the end, and we're gonna hug each other. And the spirit of Christmas is. Can't gonna... let you throw any clothes. Sorry about that. You're what? We can't let you throw any clothes. Okay, well we're gonna flip tables though. Uh, I can't let you do that. We'll make sure no little kids are you know around the tables, so we don't. Crush. No, we can't let you. Ha we can't let you do any of the flipping tables or throwing clothes. That's not going to happen here. What about throwing uh, my elf into racks and the racks fall over? Nope, that won't work either. Do you have racks, or do you just have those? We're not going to let you do that. Uh, what can we do that's uh, extremely violent inside your store? Absolutely nothing. But thank you for asking. What? Good day, ma'am. It's Christmas. Another thing I hate about this list is that every single number has periods in it instead of dashes, and my SIP client cannot handle periods it just says oh this isn't a real number try again idiot and i take the periods out and it works just fine stupid mall here's a uh, amber crombie kids i remember was it last year where i called up the amber crombie kids and told them to shut the fuck up i was from the regular amber crombie and they're being really loud see i can't even tell which stores are next door to like maybe if i just look on google maps maybe that'll have a better map for me the number you have dialed is not in service what the hell? Amber Crombie Kids is gone? What happened? Oh shit, this actually works. Google Maps is so much better. I think I'm just going to do this for a while. But there's no way for me to know. Wait, how do I tell what's upstairs and what's downstairs? There's no separate floors on this map. What the hell? But then the stores are labeled somehow. This is confusing. Here, I'm going to call a few of these that I think are within Santa's view, possibly. Hey, uh, this is Santa, you know, down here doing all the photos and stuff. What's up, Santa? Hey, do you think you could stop looking over here at me like that? Because, you know, I'm just trying to do my job. Okay. And you just kind of keep looking over here and glaring at me. <laughs> uh, okay. It's really throwing off my, my mojo and everything with the kids. Yeah, yeah. No, I, I, don't, I don't see a Santa so, outside. I don't so. appreciate it, so please don't do that again. Hello? Okay. What, who's that saying hello? Is, is he some kind of fucking idiot? Hello? Like he's not even on the phone. You're the one on the phone. Tell, tell him how phones Hi. work. Bro Jewelry. What is he, stupid? Bro Jewelry. <laughs> Who are you trying to call, man? The jewelry store. This is Bro Jewelry. I know, but Santa's not up here. We don't have a Santa Claus up here. Oh, you're on the top floor? Yeah, we're yeah, on the Google, top floor. Yeah, but you keep looking over the railing. 
No, I don't. We yep. haven't left the store today. Bullshit. Just please stop doing that. Come on. I'm just trying to do my job. What are we doing again? You what keep, did you say you keep looking at me. You keep giving me snake eyes, and you keep making butthole winking motions. <laughs> oh, we're getting trolled. <laughs> okay, man. We'll try to stop doing that. Oh, if you don't stop, I'm going to call the mall office and tell them to make you stop. All right, man. Do what you got to do. All right. Maybe I love you. you. Come to work looking so sexy. What? So you're saying I'm asking for it? <laughs> hey, hey, man. Merry Christmas. So, like, it's okay to rape me or something? Okay. I see how your line of thinking goes. Hello? Yeah. Yeah. Hang up the fucking phone. <laughs> okay. You hang up first. No, I ain't <laughs> hanging up shit. <laughs> you hang up first. Actually, I got to go. There's a kid here. They want a photo. I got to go. All right, Santa. <laughs> All right, I love you. Love you. <laughs> Bye. Yeah, there's just no way to tell, like, the top floor from the bottom floor on the Google map. But at least there's a map. Oh, wait, yeah, when I click on it, it tells me which floor. But it tells me that that place I just called was on the first floor. And that guy's telling me the second floor. Let's see if this candy store is by him. Thank you for calling William Pops Mall. This is Jeremy. How may I assist you? Hey, it's, uh, I'm the guy that's being the Santa right now. You know? Uh-huh. Uh, we're gonna, yeah. we're gonna move my throne over into your store. Like inside the candy store. And, and all, why would that be? All the photography equipment. Because uh, it'll be good for both of our business. You know, the kids will be, like, there'll be more kids in there getting candy. Yeah, I won't be able to do that. We're quite busy. Uh, we have limited space as it is. I know. We're going to move things out of the way. We're going to scoot the counters over to the side. You're, you're talking to the candy store, right? Correct. Lolly and Pops. Yeah, you, you, we're, we're not allowing that. I'm sorry. Oh, no. I'm Santa Claus. I can basically... I have free reign over the mall this time of year. No, no, you don't. Uh, yes, I do. <laughs> Call the mall manager. Not in my store, you don't, sir. Uh, yes, I do. And we're, I'm going to bring my throne in, and we're going to bring all the photography equipment in. Well, you're not. And have a wonderful day. In just a minute. Everyone's too busy for my shit. Here's a hot topic, but it's above where Santa is. Hey, uh, this is the uh, Santa downstairs. You know, yeah. the, the Santa doing the pictures and stuff by the yeah. door. Hey, can you guys stop uh, leaning over the railing and throwing things at me? I don't appreciate that. Oh, we don't. We're not throwing anything at you. I don't know who's. Yeah, uh -huh. no, it's somebody right there by Hot Topics, and they keep throwing pennies at my head when I'm trying to take photos with the kids. Oh, no. Well, that is not our people. Oh, um, no, I know it's you. I, I, I saw you personally. Our employees, though. What's that? It's not our employees, though. Our employees are in store. It's probably just people walking through the mall. No, no. It's like people in uh, Hot Topic uniforms, and they keep running over to the rails and throwing pennies at my head, and it's real funny. Hitting Santa Claus with a penny on you know in the Christmas season. It's not it's not you, funny, but you're not going to sit here and accuse my employees of doing something that they're not. It's customers walking throughout the mall. Oh no, I was accusing you. I know. Me? It's, yeah, because you know who I am. Of course I do. I've been up there. No, so you I have look, no clue who I am. I do too. I'm Santa. Okay, listen, I'm Santa Claus. I know who everybody is. Okay, all right, man. But it was good talking to you. Have you, a good day. You know, you better cut that out. Thank you for calling Alter Santa. This is Karen. How may I inspire you? Hey, Karen. It's the Santa over here at the Dillard's. Hey, how are you? Pretty good. Can you please stop telling your customers that Santa isn't real? Oh, my gosh. <laughs> are you serious right now? Yeah, it's like it, it got back to me, and I don't appreciate it. I don't even know who would do that. Who, do you know who it was? They uh, tell people that. Well, no, they said like uh, the the uh, the employees, the manager there. They're telling everyone that Santa isn't real. But our our the deal manager here. I'm the manager. So oh, I don't think I'm telling people. So you're that. you're saying something like Santa isn't real, but our deals are. I don't appreciate what? that. But like whatever your weird slogan is there about Santa not being real, can you please That's not? That's not our slogan. So well, I don't know who told you that, but that, we are definitely not saying that. That's what that. you guys so are I will make sure telling everyone. And there's like some little girl down here crying because you said that. Oh my gosh. Okay. I don't appreciate it. Okay. What's your name? Santa Claus. 
Um, you said you're over at the Dillers right now. Yes. Yeah. Uh, out on my right throne. across the way from us. Yeah. Yeah. Out of my throne. Awesome. Okay. Well, I will definitely um, relay this to your supervisor as well. No. Why? Because I don't appreciate you accusing us of doing that. We're not doing that. Okay, you don't have to be a Karen about it. You know, I was just saying, like, I don't appreciate you telling people that I'm not real. Wait, who is this? Is this joking? Are you joking? No, this is Santa. Huh. So just, just, okay, uh, well, thanks. you know, cut it out. Okay, please, thanks. Please. Thank you. Okay. Thanks. Bye. No, thank you. I keep cluing everybody in that I'm kidding around. I gotta cut that out. American Eagle, this is our Holly. How can I help you? Hey, uh, this is the Santa downstairs, you know, by the Dillards. Yeah. I'm sending one of my elves up. They're gonna bring a, an orange extension cord in there and they're gonna plug it in. Just in I'm the... sorry, you cut off for a minute. What was that? Yeah, it's all that damn music you're playing in the background. It makes it cut out. Um, one of my elves is gonna come over with an orange extension cord. And they're going to plug it in in your store. Uh, could I ask why? Uh, it's it's to power our printer. You know, for the okay, f- uh, for the photographs for the kids and stuff. To my store manager, real quick. Well, no, it's um, it's fine. Just let them know that I'm Santa, and we're just going to run an extension cord from my throne to your store, just to run the camera and the printer and stuff. Um. Okay. I just so have to let him know. All right, just give me one second. Who? My store manager. Oh. Yes. All right, just give me one second. Okay, but you don't have to put me on hold. No, I said don't put me on hold. Okay. What? Whoa, hello? Hi, still there? Oh, yeah, what happened? Yeah. Okay, so my store manager just told me that we're not allowed to run any extension cords well, through the store. Except for Santa. And, like, my elf's already up on the way, so uh, when you well, see her, she's just going to come in and plug it in. Just ignore her. Just pretend that she's not doing I, it. Yeah, can't do that, sir. Why not? Because not even for Santa, we can't do that. Rules are rules. Okay, well, it's just next... <laughs> It's just to power our printer. Well, I can't do it. You could probably try Nordstrom. They, they've or got somewhere else. They, they've got like a third party, uh, you know, illegal ink in there, like a toner cartridges from the dark web. I don't I want this plugged into my own my electricity. Okay, sir. I don't have time for this. We can't have um, extension cords through the store right now. Oh, well, it's not through the store. It's just going to come around the edge, and the elf yeah, she's going to put it. Yeah, that's still like, a hazard. Yeah, just a hazard outside your store where we have it stretched across and going over the rail. Sorry. I said it's only going to be a hazard outside the store where we have it stretched across the you know across the the walking thing and uh, you know over the no, rail. No, it's. It's still going to be a hazard in our store, um, so we just can't have cords running around, I can, even throughout the edges. No, she, she, I can see her. She's still walking uh, over toward your direction, and she's routing, routing the orange Sir, extension cord around things. Yeah, I. Sorry, I'm gonna have like if she comes here, we're just gonna have to like not do it here. Uh, no, she'll um, she'll tell you that uh, she's with Santa Claus. And I, Santa Claus basically runs the mall. Sir, I do not have time for this. We cannot have extension cords Ma'am, here. Ma'am, I'm fucking Santa Claus, okay? I don't care. You, you don't say no to Santa Claus a week before Christmas. Well, I do. No, you okay. don't. Because guess what's going to happen? Yes, You're not going to get do. any damn presents. I don't care. Oh, you don't care if you get presents. Yeah, right. I really don't. You're probably just All trying right. to be tough. Have it, a good day, and sir. You'll, you'll actually care on Christmas morning when you don't get presents. Joshua. Hello? Hello. Oh, hey, it's it's Santa Claus, you know, down here by the Dillards. Hey, how are you? Pretty good. I just wondering, do you think you could lower your voice in there? You know, I can hear you all the way over here at my throne. Uh, Being so no? freaking loud. Is it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you just need to stop, s- stop screaming at everybody, okay? <laughs> stop I can't. 
We're just, we're just having fun over here. I know, but you're just being so fucking loud. Just you know, shut the fuck up. I'm trying oh. to do. I'm trying to Whoa. do my job. Are you? Yeah, I'm trying Don't to. Watch you come over here and say that. Uh, no, I'm busy uh, taking photographs with kids because I'm a celebrity. Nah, I don't believe you are. Well, don't, You're not a celebrity. Don't, what are you talking about? I'm fucking Santa Claus. Are you? Yeah. yeah well, I bet my beard's better than yours. I'm Bullshit it is. Yours too. I've got like a long you white sure beard. That? Yeah. Yeah, come over and look I at it. I, I will if you want me to. Uh, not really, but you know, why don't you just shut the fuck up if you do come over here? Maybe maybe stop nah, squawking. I'll be fine. Stop squawking so much. Nah, we'll be fine. No, nah. and but you know, you stop t- stop touching the kids and stuff, man. That's kind of weird. Wow, wow, your mind went there, didn't it? That's that's a it little would, would, that's a little concerning that your mind would go there. That's what you paid. That's what you get paid to do. It kind of sounds like uh, you just think about touching kids a lot. That's what it sounds like. I didn't apply for that job, and I have a beautiful beard. Bullshit! My beard's more beautiful than your beard. Ah, uh, you wish, bud. Yeah, whatever. So anyways, uh, I don't have time for you, so... Uh, yeah, right, what are you Christmas. doing? You're just in there having a good time, just, like, yelling yeah, and stuff. Yeah, we are. Yep, yeah, yeah, we're screaming as loud as we can. Yeah, why don't you shut the fuck up? <laughs> You're such a pussy, dude. Shut, shut your mouth. Hey, man. Santa Claus is not a pussy, motherfucker. Yeah, well, I'm glad you won't be bothered. You're glad I won't... What? So, you, you cut anyways, out. Anyways, hey, hey, if you're so busy, why, aren't you, why, are, you, why are you talking to me? Uh, because uh, I want you to shut the fuck up. You know, the yeah, kid. Anyways, all right, goodbye. You're over there. Blah, 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 blah. Maybe I'll just do that for the rest of the show. I'll just tell people to shut the fuck up because that never gets old. Thanks for calling in. I'm calling this Bridget. Hey, Bridget. It's Santa down by the Dillards. Yes. Uh, I need a pretzel. Stat. Okay. Are they? Um, are they really? Are they really less than thirty minutes old? Don't lie. I'm Santa. No, 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 no. I'll need to make you one. But by the time you get up here, I'll have it done. Oh no, you have to bring it down here. I'm, I'm on my throne. Oh, throne. Um, I can tell you right now, I love you with all my heart, but there's no way that I can. I am so short staffed. I have nobody to. Yeah, just to shut do down that. the store because I'm Santa, and what I'm doing down here is more important than your dumb little store. <laughs> um. Let me, yeah, let me, I'll bring, I'll have somebody bring it down. But, but, you. but uh, you're, you're talking like, uh, you know, as if I asked for one. I need more like a dozen. Okay. Cause Not I'm, a problem. I'm Santa. Yes. And I will take care of Santa. When you said Santa, it clicked. I will take care of you. Of course. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> I'm not going to be able to pay for any of it. Uh-huh. Because I only have, uh, you know, North Pole money and. <laughs> you're cute. You're cute. You're cute. You're cute, motherfucker. Mm-hmm. Sorry, that just came out. Mm-hmm. Oh my God, there's a kid standing right here too. I didn't even. I gotta go. I wonder, like, did I call this mall last year? That's why people are playing along a little bit. It's all the sign guy's fault. Sending me this mall. Hey, Matthew. Hey, is this the massage place? Yes. Okay, you didn't answer. Like, hello, massage place. Can I help you? <laughs> You're just like. Hey. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, uh, how can I help you? Uh, well, this is Santa Claus. Uh, I, I work. I'm over by the Dillards, you know, on the throne. Uh-huh. Uh huh. Taking all the photos. I'm gonna like. Is your massage place? Do you have one of those massage places where everyone can see me get the massage? Yeah, yeah. We have a chair massage that's in the front. Oh, it's just a chair that you sit in. Oh, uh, it's a it massage chair. It's a different kind of chair. <laughs> Oh, I want to lay. I want to lay down on one of those bed things. Uh, yeah, we we'll, we do have a bed. Yeah. Can everybody see me? I want everyone to see me because I'm gonna be in my Santa Claus outfit. I think so. Uh, yeah, I think. Uh, yeah, people will be able to see you. Yeah. Okay, and I'm gonna act like. So is is it one of those beds that shuts on you and it like sprays water at you? Oh, not not that one. <laughs> It's not like the massage table, or just a regular massage table. I'm going to act like it's like a torture device, and I'm going to scream in <laughs> agony, and I'm going to be like, oh, oh, why are you doing this to Santa Claus? This is so painful. And like all the kids that are around watching me, they're probably going to cry. Oh. <laughs> oh uh, um, what's your name? Oh, my name's Rain. Rain? Ray? Rain? Rain, yeah, like the weather rain. Oh, okay. I'm going to be like, oh, oh, this hurts, this hurts. Rain, please stop. Please turn off the machine. It hurts so much. 
but don't turn it off because I'm just gonna sit. I'm just gonna lay there and cry <laughs> while the kids oh, okay. and the kid uh, the kids are gonna cry with me. <laughs> okay. Um. Uh, what time do you want to come in? Uh, immediately. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm on a break in here in a minute. I'm gonna get up and I'm gonna come there and I'm gonna ride one of your massage machines. Okay. So. Uh. Yeah. Yeah. You can mm-hmm. come in. Guys. Yeah. Okay. Can I pretend it's a torture machine? Uh. I. I can decide. I mean, you. You can come in and then uh, ask some someone else. Can I leave on my Santa suit? Yeah, yeah, you can leave your Santa suit, yeah. Okay, and I want to have the beard on, and I'm going to scream and cry in agony. Like, no, okay, no. I'll, I'll There's uh, not going to be, I'll, I'll there will be no Christmas <laughs> this year, because you're trying to, you're killing me, you're killing me. That's what I'll say. Okay, yeah, I'll, 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 I'll ask them. <laughs> okay, I love you. Yeah, how many minutes will we be here? Mwah. All right. He's going to ask who? What's he talking about? And what the hell? Here's another massage place. Wait, is this the place I just called? Oh, yeah, it is. Apparently he has two massage places in the mall. Thank you for calling the children's place. Mall, how may I help you? Hey, uh, this is Santa. Uh, you know, I'm I'm the Santa here in the mall over here by the Dillards. Uh-huh. Uh, do you have any kids in there right now? Um, I think I see a few. Okay, good. Are any of them misbehaving? Hmm. Well, I'm going to be coming down there in just a minute, and I'm just going to yell at all the kids in the store. So just so you know, I'm not actually angry. Uh, it's just uh, oh, it's just what Santa okay. does. I'm going to come in and just yell at the kids. Okay. I'm just going to, like, you know, threaten to take away their Christmas for the rest of their life and, you know, just make them all shape up, basically. Um. Okay. Is that cool? I mean, that's kind of rude, but... Yeah, that's what I do. I'm Santa. I'm like an edgier, newer Santa, though. Okay. I'm going to come in there and I'm going to yell at kids. I'm so confused. Are you... Well, I'm just on break. You know, like, I'm doing the photos. I'm taking a break here in a little bit. And I'm going to come up to your store and I'm just going to yell at some kids. Well, and I mean, I don't think we, I don't think we need that. Well, no, it's just uh, part of uh, being Santa. You know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do like the eye motions, like point at my eyes and point at them, point at them, like, you know, I got my eye on you, motherfucker. Stuff like that. You know. Hello. I guess not. <clears throat> Chill. Hey, uh, I was in there earlier, and I think I left something behind. Uh, does, was anything there turned in that was left in your store? Uh, Maybe earlier. What was it? Well, what was it that you left behind? Well, it doesn't matter. I I think you'd know it if you saw it. Um, I mean, I w- <laughs> they just put it in the in the in the drawer, so I would have to know what it was. They don't really say nothing. Oh well, it's 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 um. Oh, like I, I was in there before your store opened. Yeah, this is the Santa down here by the Dillards. Uh, uh, and the the janitor let me in, so we were hanging out in your store before it opened, and we were in there smoking weed. And I left a cigar box full of all my weed stuff, just in the middle of your in the middle of your store. I think. Um, Unless I thought to yeah. hide it, I just can't really remember. Here, I'm gonna let you talk to the manager real quick. Oh, how come? Why not you? I mean, I can I can go look. I can go look for you, but uh, okay, yeah. Um, I may have just shoved it under something. It's just like an old right. one of those old cigar boxes. That's where I keep all my weed stuff. And you said the janitor let you in, and you left it. Yeah, the janitor. Like we we were in there this morning, like at seven or eight in the morning, like way before the mall opened. Seven or eight in the morning, and champs. Yeah, yeah, we were hanging out right in the middle of the store, smoking weed. All right, I got you. Me and the janitor. All right. So, like, do you see a box laying around there? Or did I shove it under a shelf? Or I'm looking right now. I don't see it. I oh. think I think a, a I think a customer or maybe a 
Somebody early in the morning probably got it, bro. Um, oh, but wait, did you take it? Cause I was here this morning. No. Like, come on, don't take my weed. It's like the only. That, that's like my entire collection of weed. But, that's like the whole box. Who, who's that? On. Who's that talking in the background? What he hung up on me. Hello. Hey, is this the the Chapel Delights? Yes. Oh, because you didn't answer like that. You're just like, hello? Yes, this is Chapel Delight. Oh, okay. Are you actually in the mall? It sounds really quiet there. Yes, I'm in the mall. Oh, Come we, on my frequency. Yeah, like, see. really good noise cancellation on that cell phone. <laughs> uh, th this is uh, Santa. I work down at the, uh, you know, in front of the Dillard's. Say it one more time. Santa Claus. I work in front of the Dillard's. Okay. I was in your store earlier, and I think I left something in there. Did did anything get turned in? Anything weird? No. Oh. What did you leave? I can keep an eye out for it. It's like a, a small box, like um one of those old cigar boxes. Um, no, I can't say that I've seen it, but I can definitely keep an eye out for it. Well, I was inside your store like before it opened. Uh, the janitor let me in. Me and him were just in there hanging out, and I I may okay. have. Me, weird. Like, I'm sorry. I'm about to hang up on you because that. Why were you? What? 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 No, I'm don't. Confused. Don't hang up. I. I. I just wanted to find out if it'd been turned in. Hello. So you're looking for a small cigar box that you said you left in our store before uh, we opened. You were in here hanging out. The janitor let you in. Yeah, it's no big deal. But we didn't take anything. It just kind of smells nice. Why was the janitor? This is the Santa Claus that's down there in front of Dillard. Why'd you like, put what? why'd you put me on speaker? Hey. She hung up. By accident, I'm sure. Hi. Yeah, hello? We got disconnected somehow. Hello? Ma'am? Yes. Uh we got disconnected somehow. How can I help you? Oh, uh, I was just wondering if you might have found my box down there. What box? Um me and the janitor were in there before you opened. And we were, we were in there smoking marijuana. And I left my box of marijuana stuff, probably like under a shelf or something, because we were laying on the floor. Okay. Um, first of all, I don't know why you're telling me that. Secondly, no, it's not in here. Well, have you even checked? Can you like look under the shelves? Because we were in there for a couple hours. Are you not able to call the janitor who let you in here? Uh, no, because he, wor he works mornings, and right now it's the afternoon. Th who's that yelling in the background? No one's yelling, but... I hear someone. No, like, it's, not, it's not here. Is there anything else I can help you with? Uh, well, you could actually look for it instead of being a total bitch and What's just pretending name? that it's not there. Cause, you How know, about you come to my store and look for it then? Because if you stole my weed, like that's not cool. Especially come to my store and look for it. Especially okay? on, I can't. I'm. No, the is I've got to. I'm gonna be here until closing because I'm Santa, idiot. No, what's your name? And, and what? Who's she talking to in the background? I heard her say something about Santa. What's your name? You worried about somebody else in the background? What is your name? Santa Claus. And you tell her to shut the fuck up. You shut the fuck up, bitch. You got something to say. Come to our store. You know where we're located, okay? okay I, I come wrong, to your wrong, store wrong, all wrong the time, people. and I'm always in there. Well, come in. Before you come open. Come in right now. And address yourself as Santa Claus what? right now, sir. No, I'm working right now. You come, it, you come down same, here. Say the same. So are we. It don't sound like you working. Why don't you actually, you're like. able to call and talk shit. Why don't so you bring it. Get, come on in. Get down on the floor and look for my damn box, lady. Goofy yes, ass motherfucker. So that was a chocolate store. They have chocolate-covered strawberries, marshmallows, Rice Krispies and pretzels, chocolate-dipped pineapples, caramel-drizzled grapes. You know, it's one of those stores. I thought that would be a perfect place for a janitor and a mall Santa to go hang out before the mall opens because it's going to smell amazing in there no matter what. Charlie, how can I help you? Hey, uh, this is Santa down by the Dillard's. Uh-huh. You know, I'm, I'm being the Santa this year. Okay. Uh, I was in your store earlier, and I left something in there. D what is it? What have, was it? Have you, has anything been turned in, or have you found anything weird laying around there? No, not yet. Huh. Is it, like, weird enough for you 
for you not to tell me? Well, it's just like, I, I, you probably wouldn't appreciate it. It's just that I, I was in your store before it opened. Uh, the janitor let me in. Wait, what? I, I was in your store before it opened because the janitor has the keys to everything. But it's cool because I'm Santa. Hold on, no. What? Why did the janitor let you in here before we opened? Because I got here early, and he's always here early, and we were just chilling, you know? Mommy! Whoa, what? Why are you yelling for, for your mommy? What? Did you just yell for your mommy? I'm mo- sorry. Um, did you yell? I, hold on. I'm Ma'am, confused. did you just yell for your mommy? That is not no, prof- I didn't. professional behavior. I'm confused. I'm confused as to but I, I swear how I just, you got in here. I, how I swear I heard you say you you, you exclaimed mommy. I was somebody's name. I thought you were somebody else, but um, continue. You thought I was your mommy? I didn't say mommy, but can you continue? Oh, okay. Well, I just did you find anything in there? No, because I'm still... Com- okay, goodbye. Well, did you even look? Are you... Are you playing or something? Because this is getting annoying. No, we, we were laying on the floor, so I think I left it on one of the lower shelves. I mean, we don't have the, shelves. You know what I mean by shelves, though. You are know? you? You're wasting my time. So, like, are you playing or what? No, I'm. I'm the Santa over here at the Dillard's. I work here at the mall, and me and the janitor were in so there. Why the, were, need did you have to be in my store because i'm about to call my store manager we we just like going we go in there and we smoke weed bro who is this but it's before you open it doesn't even matter like the smell's gone before bro, it, who is this it's santa claus what store From is this the dillard's right in front of the dillard what store is this what store did you just call uh, i just called charlotte Rusi. Okay, so I'm about to call my manager. About what? And I'm about to call my manager, and she can track this phone number. So if you're playing, you can stop now. Are you going to tell? You're wasting my time. Are you going to tell your manager that you probably stole my weed pipe, and now you won't give it back? Can you just? Are you playing, bro? No, I just. Off. That's all I want is just my weed pipe. I didn't mean to leave it there. I've been in. Me and the janitor have been there in a bunch of times in the morning. Bro, you sound and I'm about to hang the phone up because I think you're playing. I'm not playing. I, I'm a Christian. You're wasting my time. I'm a Christian. Bye. I don't play. <laughs> Bye. Uh, don't hang up. I'm fucking Santa, ma'am. <laughs> I'll put you on a list. How do you pronounce Charlotte Russi? Charlotte Russ? Russi? Russi? Hey, uh, this is Santa over in front of the Dillard's. You know, Santa, who? Santa Claus. Oh, hey, what's up? Hey, uh, you guys haven't brought me any food at all this year. So uh-huh. I think tonight's going to be the night. I would like a hot meal. Just anything with lots of meat in it. Okay. Because I, I haven't gotten a single meal from you guys this year. And last year you bought me three. This year you're not, oh, bring, okay. you're, you're not bringing me any. You're supposed to bring Santa free food. Um... I would if my line wasn't all the way throughout the mall, but... Oh, oh, let me talk to some of those people in line. Okay, yeah, you should. Okay, yeah, um, just hand the phone over right now to one of the customers. I'll take care, I'll take care of everything. All right, sounds like a plan. Here's, Uh, here's one of them right now. Okay. Hello? Hello? Oh, hello, is this a customer or an employee? I am an employee. Oh, no. She said she was handing the phone to a customer. This is the uh, Santa Claus over by the Dillard's. Hmm. Uh, she said you had a long line there. I just need to talk to the one of the customers that's in line. One of the customers from the line? Yes. Yeah, just hand them the phone. Uh, well, unfortunately, we can't do that as the phone does not reach all the way out there. Hmm. Okay, you're going to have to bring a customer behind the counter and into the kitchen. Why would I need to do that? Because I'm Santa Claus and I'm ordering you to. Oh, that's crazy. What do you mean it's crazy? I follow rules from the North Pole. I'm sorry. Oh, everyone follows the Santa rule. Uh, Motherfucker. That's, That's all right. 
So I just need to talk to a customer real quick. Fortunately, no customers are allowed behind this store, so I All can't right, do well that just, for you. You know, switch over to a cordless phone or something. Come on, you're wasting time. Once again, I am not allowed to bring any customers behind the line. Who are you? Like a manager or something? Yes, I am. Ugh, sounds like it. Always quoting rules and shit. It doesn't sound like you're Santa Claus from the mall at all, so... What are you talking about? How would you even know that? Do you know the Santa? Mm, no, but you're using profanity and all of these other words, so unfortunately I can't do anything. Oh, you, you don't think Santa Claus uses profanity? Alrighty, sir. I think we're done having this conversation now. Thank you for Well, calling. hey, I can say whatever I fucking want. I'm Santa Claus. <laughs> sir. Santa Claus is just going to have to starve tonight, apparently. Nobody wants to bring him any food. Thank you for calling Pamela V. How can I help you? Hey, uh, this is Santa, uh, you know, down by the Dillards. Uh-huh. And I left something in there earlier today. Did you find anything there? Um, no. Oh, do you have, like, what, a lost... What would it... Oh, that's just my gloves. What would it be? My gloves. Oh. But okay. I, I, I may have put them behind the counter, because me and the janitor were in there, but, like, before the store opened this morning... Uh, how? If, oh. I, I mean, I was the one that, that was opening, so I'm not sure oh, yeah, how he, you got into this. He's got a key. We were just in there, like, laying around, you know, just hang, chilling, just relaxing before the day starts. It's just my gloves, though. That's all. Just my gloves. I haven't seen anything. Hmm... Well, like, did you look around by the floor, like, you know, on a lower shelf? We were laying on the floor. Do you know what store this is? Uh, Camille. Um, okay, but why were you in the store? That's my question. Like, who, who? Oh, the janitor. The janitor let me in. He's got all the keys. Like, he's got keys to every store. Which janitor? Jerry. Okay. So, but I mean, like, did, did you see my gloves in there? Like, there's this pair of black gloves. No. Bye. What do you mean, bye? Why, why, aren't you even going to look? What was that? <laughs> Very unhelpful employees at that place. I think it was some kind of fashion place. I forget what it was called. I'm running out of time here. I think, like, if my time zones are correct, I think I have less than an hour left. At this mall, not even. So I think we're just about done with all this. Hi, it's the party. We're making a fun dispenser. How may I help you? Hey, uh, this is Santa over by the Dillards. Do what? This is Santa. You know Santa Claus over by the Dillards? Oh, yeah? I'm, I'm doing the photos. Okay. Uh, we're getting ready to come in your store. Like me and the okay, elves. Apparently Santa's going to come in our store. Hey, don't be rude. I was talking to you and you just started talking to someone else. I'm um, sorry, I was, telling, I was informing my manager. I am Santa Claus, you know. Okay, so, I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, we're just going to be setting up inside your store there. Uh, we're, gonna, we're bringing my throne and the cameras and everything else, and we're going to be taking the pictures inside of Spencer's. All right, um, can I hand you off to my manager so you can explain to her what's going on? I guess. Yeah, just let her know what's happening. No. All right, I'm going to hand you the phone to her, okay? Mm-mm. Hey, Fran. Hello? Hi, Fran. Yes. Hey, it's Santa from, you know, down by the Dillards. Uh-huh. Did she, hi. Hi. Did she tell you we're, we're bringing everything up right now? Hello? Hi. Yeah, you went away. What'd you say, sweetie? I, I didn't go anywhere. I was talking to you. Uh, we're, we're bringing everything up. We're going we're gonna to take pictures inside your store. In here? Yeah, yeah, we're going to move some stuff around. We're going to scoot it out of the way. We're going to bring my throne in, and the kids are going to come in there to uh, take pictures with me. I was thinking, like, maybe near the back of the store. Oh, uh, no, you can't do that. Why? In the back of the store? Yeah. It's cool. I'm Santa. It says, it says Roy Tinker Slayer. Tinker Slayer. Oh, it says Roy Tankersley? Uh-huh. Oh, that's cool. I set up that caller ID name a long time ago. I didn't know the names 
came through. You know this other la- this other girl. I think she worked at Mrs. Fields, and she told me she couldn't see anything on the caller ID earlier. She's full of shit. Now I know. Sh- now I know she's full of shit. Who? The, the girl over at Mrs. Fields who has not bringing me any cookies this year. Oh, uh, okay. Well, I'm really busy. Okay, thank you. Well, we're coming up in any minute. Okay, Fran. No, we can't do that in the back of the store. We're gonna. Sorry, uh, we're too busy. Okay, we're so busy. The front of the bye-bye. store. Then you're gonna be less busy when bye-bye. I'm in there. Bye bye. Wow, my name comes up on the caller ID. That's crazy. I made my name on one of these caller IDs. I made it Roy Tankersley, and that's the first time anyone's ever confirmed for me that they can actually see my name. So that's cool, I guess, even though she won't let me move my throne up there. So I think I am going to end it there, though. Thank you for this list, the sign guy. And maybe I'll finish up the rest of them all, uh, I don't know, tomorrow or something? Because I didn't even get halfway through the list. I was just skimming around near the end. So hopefully you're going to hear more of this in the next show. But for now, you're just kind of stuck with these voicemails. Hello, Snowplow Show. Tim Riggy here. Hey, Tim. Calling East of the Rockies. I just wanted to phone in and be the first one to say... Happy New Year to all the listeners in Phone Loser Land. I know how backed up uh, RBCP gets on his Pooping? voicemails. So oh, voicemails. by the time this airs, it will be 2022. Eh. Okay. See you later. You got lucky, Tim. I usually just start at the top of the list and work my way down toward the ones that are two months old. So it's just like prank requests. Sometimes you get lucky, sometimes you don't. Hey, Brad, this is uh, Infected Durian, a.k.a. Solid Snake. Hey. I'm trying to find Ocelot so I can get a hold of Metal Gear, and I was wondering if you could help me. But uh, what? there's some people coming up on me right now, and I just want you to know that if anything happens, I love you. Okay? Okay. <laughs> uh, something's... Okay, yeah. Rest, rest in peace. Are you okay? I think something bad must have happened, I guess. That was weird. Hey, Brad, it's the cameraman here. Hey. Uh, so recently, I've gotten into wax seals for sealing envelopes and things of that nature, mm-hmm. and I thought it would be a cool idea if uh, the PLA logo, the bell, was in the shape of a wax seal to use. I thought that'd be pretty neat. Be and on a side note, um, it gave me an idea listening to your most recent show, the Snowplow Show, The Tenants from Hell Calls. Yeah. Um, how about we start sealing our locks so that way we know the landlord comes over. You can tell him, I'm, I'm, I'm out right now and I've sealed my lock. And so I'll know if you enter it illegally because the seal will be broken. So maybe we can have some fun with that. That's a great idea. Bye. I'll probably never remember to do it because these are the voicemails. I'm not writing shit down. And I found some uh, wax candles designed specifically for dripping onto envelopes and stamping a wax seal on them just a few months ago. So I bought those. And tried them out by dripping it on an envelope and then stamping a PLA coin into it. And it worked. It was backwards, but it worked. It's kind of cool. I've never done that before. Done the whole wax thing. The fucking post office will probably charge extra if you do that. Bunch of dicks. Brad, this hey. is Mano One. Hey, I Mano One. I story for you. When oh. I was nine years old, Jesus. I learned okay. how to code program. That was 1989. Mm-hmm. And my first program was a chatbot that my friend would chat with when they came home. It was very simple, of course. Its yep. name was Roy, and it pranked them into thinking that they want a car. Nice. Asking them a bunch of questions. Good job. It also insulted them. You got them the good. Fact, until they realized that it was a prank. Roy pranking them. 1989. Nine years old, learning how to program. Crazy, crazy. Oh, also, I lived for 10 years in Lake Hill. New York Phantom Lake. Oh, I thought you were going to say you died after 10 years. So you're probably neighbors with Rappy. And my phone number is still 425. No. Blah, 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 oh, blank, yeah, blank. Okay. What the fuck is going on? Anyway, the universe is telling me um, that, that you need you're to move. Awesome and I- oh, wait, I guess you did move. You need to update your phone number. Uh, hey, Brad, it's Corbin. Hey. And I'm calling today to wish you and everyone a a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Thanks, Corbin. And I do realize that this time of year is also depression season. A lot of people take their, uh, you know, suicide solutions. But uh, please don't do that. Believe that's, it or not, a nice there's people thought, out there Corbin that guy. love you and care about you, even though we don't know you yet. <laughs> yeah. you got to stick around long enough for us to find you out. That was convincing. Come on. Be a good sport. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Don't, don't kill yourself, everybody. Merry Christmas and don't kill yourself. 
Good advice from Corbin Guy. Hey, Brad. Hey. It's Wayne. I'm calling from Boston. I hey, Wayne. I called a call a while back um, and left a voicemail on your show. Well, I got your letter today. Uh, thank you for the $1,000. I appreciate that. Oh, anytime. see if uh, I can go buy a flat screen with that. Hopefully they take it. Yep. Um, also, I hope you don't get arrested. Know, um, uh, unfortunately, I, I, I dinged your bicycle. Um, I don't know if you got my message about that. I did. Uh, yeah, let me go back and find it right now. The best way to do that is just to start playing more and more voicemails until it pops up. Hi, Brad. I'll do it's my best. Gal. I haven't ta- called in in like two years. What's cooking, my brother? Hey. Oh, God, that was bad. Yeah. So, hey, listen, it was. buddy. Um, so, I now look, I'm a furry now. Like, what's up? Like, yeah, like, what's cooking, man? That's nice. Um, I haven't listened to the show in like a year, but I'm about to start listening to it again. Like, where do I need to start again? Like, where, where you I left off? Go? Try uh, starting a year ago when you stopped listening. I need to know these things. And 30 seconds, that's too fucking slow, short. I'm a. Oh, look at that. We're at 30 seconds. Gotta let you go now. Hey, Brad. It's Crimson. Hey. So, remember a while back when it just seemed like there were just non stop back to back meetups? It's like, oh, yeah, I'm going to have, um, you know, the little town, uh, you know, yep. Nebraska meetup guys. I remember all this. Me and Nick Caesar's second it cousin. Was good times. And it's going to be Olga's um, aunt. Olga's aunt is going to be there, guys. You can't believe it. She's We're a nice lady. I love Olga's aunt. Uh, aunt yeah, whatever. Yeah, Brad, but, but, but in, all, in all seriousness, we, we should probably have another meetup. Yeah. It's yeah, the perfect yeah. time for it, right? When there's a couple of new crazy variants out. Why wouldn't we have a meetup? So, like, let's be like a major city, like somewhere kind of in the middle of the country. Or, you know, you could come to North Carolina. Yeah. Where, well, let me yeah. remind you, most of your is, is that the middle of the country? I guess by latitude, it kind of is. Sorry. Sort of. I don't know, but we just need another meetup. I, I, I should probably make it. I'll probably show up. So. Okay. Cool. All right. I, See I you, Brad. Wait. Bye. There was just a meetup in Wisconsin. That's pretty close to you. You missed it. I think they had about 20 people show up Dragon Mirror and Wasted and all of them. And I would have gone to that one. If there wasn't a pandemic happening, I would have gone to it. The stupid pandemic needs to calm the fuck down. My name is Mary. I'm calling from California. Hey. And I just want to let you know you have been contributing to the delinquent map. Totally. Delinquent characters and uh, senior citizens. That's all I can say. What? I manage a trailer park. Do you know these people listen to you? What? I get a call at 2.30. What's happening, you guys? In the morning that they decided to put their trailer on their side so they could have more square footage. I actually have to get up and go drive through to see. And they all got their lights turned off because they're all inside laughing at me. <laughs> you are contributing to the delinquency of senior citizens. You're welcome. I hope you're happy with yourself because they sure are giggling. Yep, just like I've been giggling through this entire voicemail. I kind of hope that one was real. Hi there, Roy. It's Jonah from Montana. Hey. Everybody should go to shitbradsays.com, type in the word electrocute, scroll down to the fourth one down, uh, uh-huh. that the Snowplow Show, April 11, 2017, silent auction and piano lesson show. Yep. By the way, that's one of my favorite episodes. And uh, listen to the electrocution prank. That's one of my favorites. So hope you're having a nice day. <laughs> Love you. Okay. Now I'm curious. Man, why are you doing this to me? I'm trying to do voicemails here. That one is not the fourth one down. It's like the tenth one down. So let's see what this is. Up on the pole, and he's working on your lines. And if your phone rings and you pick up, you'll electrocute him. Oh, okay. So you don't want to do that. Okay. Okay. Well, have a nice day. You too. Thank you. Goodbye. <laughs> but I, feel, I think I know where this is going. <laughs> so she's coughing. I think I got her in like mid hit. Oh, oh no! Come on, don't be busy. Gotta call her right back. <laughs> All right, I hung up. There was no reaction. That was her electrocuting some guy on a telephone pole. How was that funny? Come on. I stopped doing voicemails for that. It only would have been funny if she started screaming back at me because she's so terrified of the death that she was currently causing. Hey, Brad. Chris from Sioux City. And also, what a total bitch. She just picked up her phone without any regard to the lineman's safety. Completely killed him. Just call and see how you are. Hey, um, hey Chris. listening to December 17th, 2018 episode while waiting for a new episode to 
arrive. Okay. Uh, excuse me. That's okay. Um, and I enjoyed the uh, the parts where you call people in the hotel rooms. Uh, do you do that anymore? That that be that would be great. I do not did. know what you're talking about because I am not listening to that episode. Uh, that's pretty funny. Um, how you call the front desk and page people's number. Oh, okay. Um, you, you should do that more often. All right. Uh, anyway. I'm going to do it. Uh, it's a little harder to do these days thanks to PrankNet because they used to call up hotels and get people to set off their sprinklers and bust out their windows. And now we can't really prank call hotels that easily because they no longer have automated ways to get into rooms. Or I mean, a lot of them don't anymore. I know there's plenty of independent ones that still do. Hey, this is uh, Sephiroth. I'm just calling in for the first time. Hey. Um, uh, I've taken a little note from you guys. And I started calling the people around my area, and I told them I have bones in my food. Uh, bones? All, all sorts of different uh, fast food places think that they got bones in their meat. Oh, no. Me. So, thank you. Good job. Uh, I'm sure they're thanking you, too. Yeah, they're uh, probably spending thousands of dollars to eradicate the bones from their meat that doesn't exist. You're kind of a jerk, you know. Hey, Brad. These people have work to do. It's Wesker from Tennessee. Hey. Uh, this is a prank I've been working on, right? It totally seems up your alley. Okay. Uh, I was thinking, like, what if <sighs> you called somebody and was just like, mm-hmm. Hey, uh, remember last time you were at a hotel? It's all hotel say, pranks yeah, today. I was at a ho-, and we say, yeah, we're from the hotel, and we, uh... You, when you logged into your Wi-Fi, when you logged in on your Wi-Fi, we uh, forty seconds. We picked up some of your information, and uh, we want you to tell your mom we said hello. We've been talking to them on Facebook. I don't know. Okay, kind of thing it's gonna like, happen. I'm doing it. That's gonna be tomorrow's show. That's what I'm doing. I'm doing this that is idea. Cactus. Welcome to Audible presents Phone Losers of America. A book by Brad Carter, read in 30-second voicemail. <laughs> Forward by Rob Vinson. It was a late summer night sometime in the mid-1990s. With Brad commentary all throughout the book. Dressed in dark clothes, backpack slung over my shoulder, I snuck out the window of my bedroom. It was only 22 seconds. Don't you know how this works? Hey Brad, this is Chris checking in on this fine evening from Asheville, North Carolina. Hey. I've been listening to your show since 2015 or so. And I just recently finished reading your book, and I just love what you do, man, very much. I have a quick question for you. Thank you. Some of my favorite calls are the ones where you claim to be an employee of the Carnival Cruise Line, and you tell people that you need to change their travel arrangements in order to accommodate a celebrity. Didn't I just do that to one person? Or did I do that to a bunch of people? Maybe I did it to a bunch of people. I can't remember how I got that number. Uh, usually that celebrity is Carrot Top. Yeah. I mean, is that a concept you would ever consider revisiting, or do you not have any interest in doing that? Anyway, thanks for listening, man. Love you. Mean it. Like, I don't know if I got the Carnival Cruise lady's number from Twitter. I kind of don't think I did, though. I think I just called up the the whatever cruise hotline that people call up to take vacations. And I said, hey, it's the corporate office. Give me a bunch of phone numbers of your customers. And they did. This is my guess. I don't remember this. I just remember the one Carnival Cruise line prank call to that lady that just laughed at me a bunch. So it'd be fun to do more of those, but I don't really think I should be calling up people and tricking them out of information since I'm kind of currently in trouble for that sort of thing. But, you know, someday I'll get back to that again, I'm sure. Hello, Mr. Brad. Maybe in a different way, though. This is me, Q12, here with my lovely, lovely partner here. Go ahead and speak. Go ahead. Did you just order her to speak? Uh, this is our her, our first voicemail together. Congratulations uh, on your so first I girlfriend. Know that the rules is you have to keep the voicemails under 30 seconds long, and that's what we're going to try and do. All right. We're going to start our voicemail now. Are you ready? No. All right, here it goes. One, cactus, two. Cactus, cactus. You're actually at exactly 30 seconds, so good job on that, I guess. And with that, I'm officially done with the voicemails, even though there's a bunch in here from December and November. But I just can't do it anymore. I'm sorry. I can't, you guys. I'm done with the voicemails. The show's over. Thank you, Jamie F., Marcus B., Mano1, the Prime Minister of Australia, and Rev. You know what, Rev? I heard one of your shows the other day. It was playing on the World of Prank Calls Shoutcast. I've got some of your stuff up there playing every once in a while. And I added a bunch more this week. If anyone wants to listen to 24-7 streaming prank calls, 
You can find those at worldprankcalls.com. There's a little streaming thing there in the corner. It's pretty exciting. I should be doing at least one more show this week, everybody. It's hard to say because, you know, it's Christmas week. Who knows how my week's going to go. I've still barely done any Christmas shopping. But I really want to do this at least one more time. I want to call up a mall and be Santa Claus. And damn it, I've run out of weekends. I can't even do it this weekend. I mean, I guess Christmas Eve is on Friday. I could do it on Friday if I wanted to do a Christmas Eve show. Anyway, something else will happen this week. Maybe a hobo sode. Maybe a regular show. I don't know. But keep an eye out for that. Also, I forgot to mention on the beginning of the show, I put up the 2015 Madhouse Pranksgiving. Wait, no, not Pranksgiving. Christmas Eve special. So it's me and Carlito and Dwight and Mistress Morgan and uh, 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 the other guy. Oh, yeah, Milkman. Milkman's there. And I was on there with them for almost the entire four hours or whatever it was. And you can find that over at MadhouseLive.com. And now that I think about it, I don't know if I mentioned the previous one that I did. I put the Christmas Eve show up, but a few days before that, I put up a regular Madhouse show from 2019. I've been doing that ever since we lost Carlito. Rest in peace, Carlito. Go listen to some Carlito shows over at MadhouseLive.com. And find some other prank call shows, too. There's plenty of them out there. Lots of live shows happening pretty much every day. And oh shit, I just remembered another thing I forgot to mention. I was on Devin's show this past week. Go listen to Devin's show, wherever that's at. Here's some Crud Bump. One of my favorite Christmas songs, written by the very same person who named this show. This guy is the reason we're called the Snowplow Show. Have a Merry Christmas and don't kill yourself. You know what time of year it is? It's Christmas time. I gotta tell you... I don't... I don't... Fuck who you are, man. Fuck you. Fuck your son. Fuck your family.